So we are going to go through the radar control test of the EU Stage 2 preparation software for ATCO screening. This is a strategic and safe air traffic management radar control test which puts you in control of an airspace sector and several aircraft. So uh, here you go some instructions about this task. The radar control test, the strategic and safe air traffic management, the radar control test, the setup and the task. The training module will present an airspace sector. Several airways offer different options to connect entry and exit points. 6 to 8 setting allowed to curb and or extend this number of aircraft will travel within the sector at any given time. All aircrafts are presented as green dogs with a black line that indicates their current heading. Each aircraft carries an information tag that reveals the its flight number, current heading, speed, and altitude. The tags also state the designated exit point and requested attitude at exit point for each aircraft. Click the tag to adjust the attitude and heading of the selected aircraft in the one screen control panel. Your primary tasks are to provide efficient navigation guidance to each aircraft in the sectors and maintain a safe separation of traffic and precise headings within the airways. A supplemental audio task adds an element of distraction to the primary task. For the navigation task, the moment a new aircraft enters the sector, is, it is under your control. Guide each aircraft by manual heading adjustment to its designated exit point and use the most efficient lengths through the airway system. Keep the aircraft on precise headings in the center of airways. Expect quite Narrow airways in advanced levels, there is some margin of tolerance, yet you should only diverge from the center line. If there is a good reason to do so, like avoiding a conflict or turning into a curve, yet all aircraft that leave the corridor will switch from green to orange. Make sure all aircraft leave the sector through their designated exit points and maintain the request attitude and heading at the exit point. The control tax. Recognize pending or leave conflicts and take resolution action. The conflicts arise if two aircraft travel in the same attitude at a horizontal separation of 2 nm or less. Avoid the development of pending conflict situations early on by heading and or attitude adjustment. The aircraft in a live conflict constellation will start to flash right red. You have still time to address and resolve the conflict at this stage. If you respond too late, the aircraft will explode and disappear from the simulation. The audio task. The tests will play ATLS style radio message in about 30 second intervals. Make a quick call to determine whether this information is relevant or irrelevant in your sector. Decision criteria are altitude, waypoints, and flight number. A relevant call is due to if the information refers to any of this factor with the following elementation. The attitude. Information only relevant between FL100 and FL400. The waypoint. Information only relevant if waypoint is a part of the airspace sector. The flight number. Information only relevant if this flight is live in the sector. The attention. An ATLS message may combine information, for example, attitude and waypoint. In this case, a relevance score is only due if above relevance conditions apply for both criteria. Sample message as below. Operation. The task is operated through an on-screen control panel by mouse control. This panel is contains sector to drive individual flights and sector. A section to respond to radio messages. Click the aircraft, attention changes, not in front, you press the confirm button. Okay.
So here you go, the navigation, some simple tasks to introduce you the radar tests. The navigation tasks, the control task, the audio task, and okay, the multitasking, the three sub tasks. So after we can click to continue, we can see there are prefined levels to let us to choose. So, so we'll go to the medium task. So you can see when uh, the task start, there is a map here with different uh, L O W with different random. Uh, English word here, which represented the gate. And you can see that when you click on the white box of the plane, the details show here. 400J means that they need to arrive. Uh, J exits at FL400. So we are going to turn it into FL400 FL and send it to the J point. So for this one is three hundred, and for this one is one hundred. Flocks of birds between flight level three hundred and seventy-five and flight level four hundred and forty. Okay, so uh, you can hear that just a uh, radio announce, and we need to. Uh, think that if it's relevant or irrelevant to the plan we are having now. So we need to, for example, we use this for the uh, test. We need to send it to the J point at FL four hundred. So we need to point Oh, also, we need to fulfill the degree. So we need to send it into four hundred J as zero degree which is here. So we are trying to adjust the flying path of it to fulfill the uh, needed. Also, we are having many planes here, as you can see. So we need to have some multitasking skills. So the, this video will uh, end after we have sent twenty one degrees Celsius between point whiskey and point golf at flight level two hundred and seventy. So, fog between point Papa and point Gulf. So we are sending sending this plane to the J point, and it's currently with the zero degree four hundred FL. Wind three hundred and ten degrees fifty three knots a point India. Okay, so it is correctly centered out. Oh, but we missed that message, but it's okay. So let's have a look on this playing right here we are have we have so you can see correct point correct heading and correct attitude for this place so w four yes, so four we need to finish is declaring an emergency so we need to finish all the playing here with the
correct attitude, correct uh, FL, and correct uh, exit. So that's it of uh, this training video.